Hey yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome to the Town of Light. If you'd like to be part of my future Let's Plays, consider following me on Twitch, link in the description below. Hope to see you in the chat in future streams, but until then, enjoy the video. Well... What happened before was we saw that our mom sent us what was a that new doctor doll. writing sitting at his desk. I right, so we had to go back to where the doctor keeps his his notes. Unless it's back there on that desk specifically. This would be the second medical record, I think. September 7th, 1938. The patient frequently indulges in recriminations expressed in an explosive tone of voice. This morning she threw away the milk, saying it was full of urine, spittle, and all kinds of other filth. Crazed, she hears voices that order her to do things. She says she heard children singing and that they were locked up in a school. January 20th, 1939. Introverted, dazed, cannot focus on anything. When questioned and stimulated, she starts crying and weeping. At other times, she laughs. June 1st, apathetic, eats very little. She refuses to be touched, does not respond. Spends her time in the grounds. The cooks report that she sits on a bench in front of the kitchens, October 14th return of impulsive behavior. This morning she asked for two eggs to make tzabayoni, but when she got them, she threw them up in the air. Excited, clamorous, slightly confused, takes her clothes off. December 8th, tied to bed for 15 days. High-spirited, tends to make witty comments and use vulgar words, laughs hysterically and pleasures herself. The nurses report that about two weeks ago, she remained in the showers on her own and didn't want to leave. They said that when they took her away, she swore at them and then lashed out and bit them. Two nurses had to be treated for their injuries. They've kept her tied to the bed since then. Transferred to the slightly agitated ward from the care of Dr. B to the care of Dr. C. I was with Amara in the showers. My memories are terrifying. They're not real, are they? Dang. I wanted to believe that Amara was real. But but here's the thing. Renee told herself or Renee told us in the mon in her dialogue or we the player are supposed to understand that Amara was never admitted. The doctor never wanted to ad admit Amara, but maybe it's because Amara was never real. But we just saw her death record. Wait, you're right. True. But, but then why, if we have her death record, why did Renee, I think it was when you just got here a little bit before that, Michael, but Renee said the doctors don't want to admit Amara. So your character's tripping. Um, she's gone through a lot. She's very traumatized. December 15th, Dr. C. Patient notes. The abnormality of her psychic state has induced her to lead a life which is irregular and tends towards delinquency. Of fickle and flighty character, she regularly discards her household duties and engages in occasional prostitution. That's true. Prostitution? No one would have ever believed a lunatic, let alone a lunatic who lives in the worst sort of sin. Could such a person ever have been subject to sexual violence? 
Certainly not. Her mental deficiency makes her deaf to the reprimands of her family. She has shown suicidal tendencies. She was brought to the ward yesterday, agitated and hysterical. Treated with cardiazole, two injections a week for five weeks. They were only trying to confuse us with the therapy, and my god, they succeeded. It was as if they wanted to instill the madness into us. There were so many of you, what could they do to manage the hell when there were so few of them? Hmm. Ooh. June 2nd. After a long period of calm and improvement, the patient is very agitated today and vehemently refuses to submit to a gynecological examination. She swears and curses those helping her, flailing her arms and hitting them. According to reports by Dr. B, the patient has been subjected to periodic checkups since she had a spontaneous abortion about two years ago in her third month of pregnancy. Conception occurred after she had sexual intercourse with a stranger who sneaked into the hospital grounds. Details are contained in the charges filed at police headquarters in Volterra, a copy of which is attached to these clinical notes. That's ironic because yes, Donut just said that that used to be a thing. That's how the reality is concealed. It has all been planned very carefully. Oh my gosh. Wait. Donut needs to see. He was right. Donut predicted this. Perhaps it doesn't refer to Renee, at least not that Renee. All planned, the institution had to protect itself. Why hide? I don't think we were afraid of you. You were worthless to everyone. Huh. So far, I'm getting matching symbols. June 13th. The nurses report that she descended into a state of great mental confusion after receiving her mother's letter. She threw her soup over another inmate because she was very anxious and then punched a nurse. Impulsive flails about her. She rails against the doctor in vulgar terms while he is examining her, lashes out and spits. Block all correspondence to give the patient no further reason to become agitated. August 20th, tied to bed. The nurses report that the patient is extremely agitated after the visit of a relative or family friend. Two days later, she is still shouting all the time that he commands her, that she must obey and harm herself, and that she is not Charlotte. All visits forbidden, constrained to bed, and intensification of ES therapy until we achieve results. No contact with the outside. That way, nobody knew what was happening within these walls. Human misery was thrown in here and locked away to make the world forget about it. The people who were in here were no longer human beings as far as society was concerned. Don't remember what happened when the letters arrived. How can you judge? Oh my gosh! March 3rd. Alert. Correct attitude. Replies they made her what they thought she was. The nurses yeah. report that the patient is calm. She washes and looks after herself. She affirms the existence of a certain Amara. She says that Amara is a patient who disappeared when she was moved to this ward. No confirmation. Probably a regressive hallucination. Evaluate transfer. Did I imagine Amara? That's not possible. She was there. I know she was there. I feel it. She must have left some traces of her presence. What? We can look for her things in the storeroom containing the bundles of the patient's belongings on the upper floor. Find the death certificate again? I know, right? Uh oh.
We had it. And this game is decision based. It seems there is kind of. There are these icons down here. I'm not sure what they represent, but as of right now, it looks like based on my choices, these two icons are lit up versus these two. I don't know what this represents yet. So well, here was Amara's certificate of death. Literally right here. Amara arrived at 1937, died. 1942. This is proof that Amara was here. Amara lived. Amara was admitted. There's there, that's there. So the storage is over here. We're looking for her belongings in the on the upper floor. Yeah, it's weird that's not enough for your character. Yeah, yeah. These are Amara's things, I'm certain. Amara, there she is. She existed. She really did exist. There she is, my friend. March 12th, 1938. The young girl Renee arrived today. Poor thing, she was terrorized. You see, she remembers the first time we met. Uh oh. I talked to her uh -oh. mother, the dear lady, and she expressed her fears to me, and I promised I'd keep an eye on her daughter. The lady told me her daughter's doll had been taken away, and this worried her. Because when she becomes depressed, as she is now, Renee barricades herself in her room and can't communicate. The doll becomes her voice, eyes, and ears. Dr. B said I'll soon get out of here. I'm sorry. I'm so sad to leave Renee. I won't be able to protect her anymore. My poor friend. She was hoping to be able to get out of here, but nobody ever leaves this place. That poor girl is really ill. I am the only one she ever speaks to. I told her I was leaving and she stared at me, saying that I would never leave. It was quite unnerving, and then she started to cry. I felt like crying too. She didn't say anything else. What worries me is that I'm sure that terrible man is watching her. He was the one who brought her here. And of all the good people, why did it have to be him? She knew. I told her everything. She knew <laughs> Thanks, about Mike. that man. That's why they wanted to make her disappear from my life. But I instructed a nurse friend of mine to keep an eye on her, and I'm sure she will, because she's a good woman. Her friend, the nurse, I vaguely remember. She worked on this ward. Here we are together. How could I have imagined for a single moment that she never existed? That's crazy. Let's look for signs of the nurse in the nurse's room on the upper floor. The nurse's room is room 13, right here. She worked mostly in the Maragliano Pavilion. Let's get out of here and find that pavilion. Renee was alone here. Charlotte had abandoned her. And without Charlotte... Renee couldn't communicate with the outside world. Mother knew that. Okay, okay. But outside. Ooh! Hey. 
Where did I leave Charlotte? I don't remember where I left Charlotte. Grounds Park, okay. No pavilion, right? Just like kind of kind of there. I'm going to go outside. Let's follow the signs. What signs? Well, this looks open. This this is the sign, maybe? So this nurse was very friendly with Amara. Wait, what the heck? What? Are we back? Okay. We came back to make the circle. Maybe it's down there or here. Maybe it's here. She's kind to everyone, even me. I felt a little better when I saw her. The sick children laughed and played with her. Not even they could frighten me. Don't annoy Renee. She's a princess here. Didn't you know? She told stories. She said there was a war out there. But they stared at me. And frightened me. They would come to look for me in the evening, and then no one would have protected me. Not even you, Charlotte. Am I right? It's so, ah, uh, what, 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 ooh. What is that about? Let's follow the hearse until we reach the graveyard. Are we gonna find Amara's body then? Is that is the hearse back there? Okay, they found the hearse. But who died? The only death we've seen is either gonna or we know about is about either Amara and or our own. Like are we gonna see herself in the casket?
this is weird. I feel like we're really coming close to the end because this, this is where the game started. Behind us was... Wait, what? What? Excuse me? What? Here's the greenhouse. Where the heck did the hearse go? This was behind the institution? So we see Charlotte in the casket. Definitely symbolic of Renee then. I think I took a different path than the hearse did, but I think we found it nonetheless. I think the graveyard's in there, right? But what's back here? Vegetable garden. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. the hearse no okay Charlotte so definitely us we died there's Charlotte my voice my eyes my ears my very soul Let's go and play together again. She switched immediately to first person once she grabbed it. Yep, good. I didn't even notice that. You're right. So let's go play. Where does she want to go play? Maybe I just follow the lights. To say what? Meaningless things. Be offensive to others and get into trouble. Eyes to see desperate. Yeah, there's a lot going on right now, babe.
threats and false promises. It'll be all right. Everything will pass. My soul, incapable of living. Of fitting into a world which it finds alien. Okay, we're back at the it's greenhouse. So one thing that is big is Renee was pregnant because a stranger. Let's go and play together. That was like one of the last things we said to to ourselves was. Let's go play again. Hey, yo, where'd you get those scissors? No, uh, Renee, Renee. So we were right. All right, then this will go ahead and mark the end of this video of the town of light. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Give a thumbs up if you liked it. Again, consider following me on Twitch. Link in the description below. Hope to see you in the chat in future streams. But if not, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.